guys and welcome to another schematics update. This time we want to talk about the announcement of Planet Coaster's Adventure Pack DLC which happened like 30 minutes ago and we want to talk a little bit about the forum post and the picture that was posted on the forum as well. I'm at for TV. You can find my stuff on YouTube and Twitter. Just look for at TV. I'm blind. You can find me on twitch.tv slash blind or stupid stu or stupid skull .com. Hey guys, I'm Cleve. You can find me on cleavetv.com at Cleave TV on Twitter or Cleave on Twitch. As said, Frontier released a small teaser trailer, whatever you want to call it, on YouTube, a screenshot and a forum post. Um, the forum post is quite interesting, so uh, Cleve, would you read it out for us? We get three new brand new rides. We get Gold Heaver, a new mine train. Mm -hmm. We get Island Adventure, which is a high capacity boat ride that we'll check out in the screenshot. Ooh. And we get something called, scanning for it, Land Ahoy, which is a, I guess, another type of boat ride, similar to the log flume where you dig out your own channel with the, with the track. And a new entertainer, I'm going to murder this, Renee Fu. And then we also get some more stuff. We've got a new wall set, static and animated wall attachments, so new animatronics, special effects, shop and path extras, so new benches, stuff like that. Uh, signs, uh, animated scenery, triggered coaster doors, doors, fences. The adventure pack is filled with awesome stuff that lets you create your own pyramids, temples, and other jungle structures. Lure your guests into ancient traps and have them encounter some truly scary creatures, including crocodiles, hippos, or even mummies. Many of the pieces are flexi color and come in different shapes and sizes. Interesting. In addition to the paid content, we're also getting a small patch, which includes some quality of life improvements for core players, such as UI improvements and Vista points, where your guests can gather for the loveliest photo opportunities, just like in RCT, mm -hmm. where they would go to a spot, take pictures of each other. That is awesome. Yeah. Been looking forward to something like that in this game for a long time. What do you guys think? I'm very excited to make my own Indiana Jones ride. In my Discord, someone said, this screenshot better inspire me to go all Indiana Jones or I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> and then I showed him the screenshot and he said, I'm buying whips right now. <laughs> <laughs> whips? I don't think he's going Indiana Jones. Um, well, Indy has a whip. Well, whips are used for other things, friend. <laughs> <laughs> and there goes the monetization again. <laughs> Depends on what, what imagery you put over that. <laughs> yeah. Let's just take a real quick glance at this screenshot here. Like... Uh, these items look amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Adfo, edit it in. Immediately, just looking at this, um, I, I'm very excited for this. Like we've said this before we started, and that's uh, I, I've been wanting this, yeah. like just constant budget DLC packs since the start. Like they've announced the prices, which is uh, I think 10.99 USD. Mm -hmm. Same in euros and um, 7.99 pounds. So I'm assuming like. $17 Canadian because they hate us. I've wanted this for so long and this looks beautiful. Like just a glance at this, like looking around, we have crocodiles, which look animated. We have a little snake. We have a crashed airplane, new trees. Like there's so much here to look at. Hell, are those giant scorpions? Like what on earth is going on here? Those are giant scorpions on top of that platform there. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I see like new pillars. We see it a glance at the new wall set mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um we got new jungle vines uh the first thing that jumps out at you are those massive like snakes yes i wonder if those are built modularly so we can like if the heads are separate pieces so that we can decide how tall they're gonna be yeah that's really hard to tell because they're clearly like in massive scale but i mean when you're building pyramids aren't small so that's true yeah. even disney has some really ridiculously large buildings and you know what that's what like just just taking a glance it's like estimating one two three four five stories tall that's not that ridiculous oh absolutely yeah no it's okay it's k it's k <laughs> yeah <laughs> we have what looks to be some new type of lamp there in the middle of the path yes uh with the fire coming out of it and then the massive like fire uh bolts i always say this wrong is it brazier or brazer it's brazer right oh i have no idea <laughs> <laughs> no, that that's that's also a thing that will get us demonetized. Both of those things could possibly get us demonetized. Yeah, there is a hippo coming out of the little water there. There's new textured like vines coming off the uh not vines, but roots of like, you know, growth, like overgrowth there. Which will be fantastic for doing like um, overrun parks yeah. or like um, sure. uh, rundown buildings. Because I know I've seen people trying to make like post-apocalyptic parks. You could use those for that. Like I'm trying to think of like not just 
like what you can do with this stuff or but like what can you yeah what you can use it for absolutely what are multi-purpose things for it just looking at these new shrubs like i i think okay man well that that's more stuff i can sink into the ground you know that those new trees in the background those look like bamboo poles yeah those, those little bamboo look very very thin it looks like a little cluster yeah thing probably is potentially a new individual piece at the very bottom center of the screen but maybe a new fence type um with that um, sharpened um, stakes po- coming out of the ground. I would love to see it as both mm-hmm. a fence type, like um, we have now two meters and four meters, and a singular piece. I would love that. There are so many cool things that I'm that I'm seeing here. First of all, we kind of glossed over it. The new trees. Yeah. I've yeah. uh, been waiting for those forever. There's a massive crashed airplane. We haven't mentioned that. Mm-hmm. Check out that bridge in the background. Uh, I know it's all very exciting right now, but can we please stick to the trees? or the foliage for a second here yeah absolutely <laughs> we see at least one new bush we see those jungle vines too i see uh at least three four five different potential um individual vine pieces the there. trees in the background i'd be willing to bet are a set of three you know how we usually get them in sets of three or at least two right. different sizes so it's like a small one a medium one and a big one so that might be what that is if you have a closer look on the right of the temple you can see the trees that you have in the foreground uh, over the plane but also under that it looks a little bit like another version of a tree that is not the same one. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, it looks like some overgrowth or something. But it's not the bamboo either. Mm. No, it looks like a it looks like a bush. Like we have the forest style mm-hmm. bushes. It looks like we're gonna get maybe a jungle style bush or something like that. In addition to like the va- the bamboo and the tree. Also down at the bottom by all of the uh, where the crocodiles are, there's like these roots sticking out. Now are those part of the tree or are those a separate piece? I think those are the vines. Those are those are like vine style where we have. That we got in the spooky pack. Oh. I think those are going to be more like generically like live style. Because you have them a little bit to the right where no tree is standing. Right. So I would assume they are separate. Yeah. Okay. Because because those look like roots to me. Those don't really. I wouldn't think of those as vines. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're roots. Yeah. I, I think you can use them as either. I would imagine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I just say how cool the car well boat looks on the uh, the, the the ride there? Yeah. That looks really really nice. Jungle Chris. Jungle Chris, Jungle Chris, Jungle Chris. <laughs> Let me throw out something that maybe Adfo wants to edit out. Is, does this mean that it's going to be easier for us to place water? Because water and ride interaction is very, very difficult right now. I have no idea. They did say some quality of life features, right? Please make it easier to align water with stuff. Oh my god, please. <laughs> I'd hope so, but right now I would say um, make the lake first and build the ride after that right i yeah i think there might have to be an order to this yeah Yeah. i wonder how the station will work Mm -hmm. because the station would need to be in water for this one yes and and yeah you can't place the station in water and also you can't terraform around stations currently exactly uh that would be awesome if that's something that changes in the patch um we also kind of haven't talked about it at all yet but is that a waterfall on the right side? Actually, a very good question. It does really look like a different water texture from what we've seen before. There's definitely some curvature there. I mean, it's... Yeah, I would say it's a new water VFX. It's definitely not just a multi-repeated water fountain. Yeah, no, it wouldn't... Yeah, It looks like a flat sheet to me. Now we can talk about the bridge, please. <laughs> that bridge looks awesome. <sighs> the, uh, the netting? The netting bridge? Yeah. Yeah, that looks that looks cool. Um, I wonder which sizes we will get because... I was about to say, I hope we get at least three sizes of that. Yeah. What if it's just modular? Like two ends and then a centerpiece? But it do- doesn't look like that. That would also be good? Ah, don't think so. Unfortunately, it looks like it's curved, which yeah. means that like retrofitting that around like a path to make it look like you're on a net bridge on the path might be like a challenge for only the most adventurous of builders but it looks cool though definitely looks cool for scenery one final thing i would like to talk about is like the textures on those new wall pieces how multi-purpose do you think those are going to be they look nice to me they look like slate st- like stonish like polished stone like kind of stuccoy, but mm-hmm. like maybe a different texture yeah but more textured yeah but, but more more like rough and textured but still like polished uh they look very nice could be used as marble yeah potentially for like 
hotels. Oh, yeah, definitely, depending on how recolorable they are. Assuming they're recolorable, which they should be. I would imagine so, yeah. Yeah, they look really nice. Um, That that archway looks really cool. We haven't we haven't mentioned that. I mean, that's definitely a brand new archway there. He looks pissed, that's all I know. <laughs> he looks like he has a huge mustache for, like, the pillars, or, like, the mustache, handlebar mustache coming down. Oh, yeah, true. That, that dude's got some manly <laughs> facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of looks like an 80s porn star. <laughs> He's got the handlebar okay. mustache and he's just rocking the freaking unibrow. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> the trim and and these, like, we have these actual literal gold textures now, which look really cool. Like, the trim, yeah. There's you see those giant pillars just beyond. You can you can only see, like, a fraction of a side view of them. Um, and they're all using this uh, brilliant new gold texture. Yeah. Which looks incredible, yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm seeing inside the, the temple there, I'm seeing in the very, very far distance what potentially might be a new type of little palm tree. Do you guys see that? Oh, yeah. I don't know if that's new or not, but it definitely looks like it's smaller and differently shaped than the palms that we have right now. It's hard to tell, at least in my end. But very hard to tell, but it's something to be on alert for. I mean, it's like 10 green pixels. If I zoom in. I have my picture zoomed in quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, I have it open in Photoshop and, and I'm like at 500% right now. <laughs> True, you have it in the background like over the temple on the right side as well. Yeah. That doesn't look like so spread out, the green, like uh, we have in the palm trees we have now. It looks more circular. Yeah, it looks like a different shape. Cool. Which would make sense because the palm tree we have right now is more like the tropical palm tree right it's not really a jungle palm yeah. and that yeah looks more like a jungle or an african arabian themed palm mm -hmm. tree yeah regardless I, I think we should uh wrap this up yeah. is there any uh, final things we want to point out here anything you just want to oogle over not on the picture but i'm really curious about the new coaster i want to know what the quality of life changes are i am interested to know when they're going to announce a season pass for 2018 <laughs> for three to four new dlcs that look as amazing as this probably never but I, I would also like to see that this is quality thank you frontier yeah, yeah very very beautiful and i'm curious what we're gonna see the next couple of days and by the way we haven't even mentioned this at all this dlc comes out in 10 days yeah. from this video december 18th very very soon this this isn't a new year's present this is coming out in a week and a half yeah it's basically the christmas present yeah. for us <laughs> anyways guys let's wrap this up uh once again i'm at for tv uh, you can find my stuff on YouTube and Twitter under TV. Hi, I'm uh, I'm Greg. You can find me at twitch.tv slash blindirl or stupidskull.com. Guys, I'm Cleve. You can find me at TV on Twitter or at twitch.tv slash Cleve. So for our viewers, thanks for listening and viewing. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, whatever it is, we have a comment section under the video. Use it. And it's follow us on Twitter at Schematics Team. We need to get that Twitter account some more followers because it's like kind of pathetically low. Yeah, give us some follows, guys. Awesome content on there. It's like plaster that all over the screen. Just like boop, 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 boop. Oh, <laughs> it's always like, hey, please take us out, Adfo. And I'm trying to take us out, but yeah, you but you probably do it like twice. Every You'd fucking probably do time. It twice. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.